Hello everyone, thank you for joining the TCP P01 M12 Type C Port Protection and Power Delivery Companion Solution for our STM32 MCU. My name is Angel Galarza, Technical Marketing for Power Discrete and Protection Devices. In this brief presentation, you will learn the basic information about our TCP P01 solution for Type C Port Protection and how to implement on your design. USB Type-C with power delivery in a safe, efficient, and cost-effective manner. So what are the target applications? This chart shows the data power role of different applications, where this technology applies. This includes Power Syncing Device, or PSD, which is a class of new sync device that can leverage the benefit of USB PD chargers and as I mentioned before, can charge up to 100 watts through a high voltage up to 20 volts. Any existing battery power equipment can imagine to increase autonomy and lifetime with a larger battery and be charged faster or source other devices. On the right hand side, a sync application are the devices that require external power. Here we see a few pictures of such devices such as power tools, shavers, POS payment machines, or a smartwatch, and so on. On the left-hand side, source, are applications to provide power, for instance, a smartphone, charger, power adapter, game console, or even a display. Dual role power, or DRP, are those applications can operate as a sync or source using the same Type-C port. Typical DRP devices will be a power bank, a smartphone, or a laptop. Here we are addressing the potential risk of damaging your USB-C device. With a USB-C connector, we have identified three kinds of risk that can happen in the field. One, an ESD issue that can destroy internal circuitry. This is a transient, very short duration, as low as a one nanosecond rise time. Two is an effective adapter that can apply a voltage higher than negotiated voltage. This is a DC voltage. And finally, the number three, which is related to potential short circuit between the B bus to adjacent pins. Here we see two sections side by side. A design with TCP P01 for legacy 5 volt USB on the left and a design with the TCP P01 for USB CPD on the right. Thanks to the TCP P01 versatility and compliance with all the STM32 and STM8 MCUs, moving from USB C to USB CPD does not affect the BOM or bill of materials. Customers benefit from USB CPD advantages at very low risk and while saving costs. We do recommend capacitors on the communication lines just for EMI reasons during the PD communication. While USB PD port is one of the key features of the USB Type-C, also have the alternate mode for super speed data. And this is a complete ESD and EMI protection solution for USB Type-C power delivery. We have our common mode filters such as the ECMF 4250A60 on super speed uh, lines and protection on D plus, D minus, such as uh, the USB LC6 2SC6. And for the B bus uh, power switch, we have the STL11 and 3 LLH6, the N channel MOSFET as a power switch working together with the stm 32 g 0 with the UCPD controller for USB Type-C power delivery. The x nucleo USB PD-M1, the blue board, is an expansion board for the Nucleo G071RB and Nucleo G474RE, the white baseboard. Development boards or any stm 32 Nucleo development board equipped with the USB Type-C peripheral. The Nucleo USB PD M1 is compliant with USB Type-C Rev 1.2 and Power Delivery 3.0, which, 
with 100 watts uh, PPS support as well as USB IF certified with a test ID certification 3036. To elaborate the board is compliant with 5 volt applications with any general purpose ST MCUs for up to 15 watt and up to 100 watt while use the STM32 UCPD enabled family. It provides a straightforward means for evaluating USB Type-C power delivery in sync mode based on the TCP P01-M12. The software includes binaries and source code files of implementation examples showing the X Nucleo USB PD M1 capabilities when connected to the Nucleo G071RB or Nucleo G431RB. The USB Type-C connector can also power the STM32 Nucleo development board thanks to the 3.3 volt LDO. As mentioned earlier, we will use the zero power consumption feature of the device when no cable is attached. Specifically for the evaluation board, which if you remember is the X Nucleo USB PD M1, you have access to all the hardware tools, data brief, manual, quick start guide, but also the XQ file, the schematic, and app notes. There is even a great YouTube video that we recommend to watch that will guide you step by step. Now let's review our roadmap for TCPP series. As we already covered the sync application with TCPP01 in detail, and we have shown it our X Nucleo USB PD M1 based development platform for both USB type. C and PD applications. We are now targeting the USB Type C source and do a roll on, and this is our roadmap. On the left hand side, TCP PO2 M18 is sampling now and will be in production early Q2 this year and is suitable for USB Type C source applications. This device is suited for products like chargers, adapters, and other power delivery source applications. In the center is the device in development for dual role power or DRP, is or TCP PO3-M20. For example, the application of power bank will fall in such category. A power bank has to get charged its own battery and let it let it charge other devices, like seeing devices, uh, preferably like a mobile phone. So with this DRP, we saved additional connector. I mean. A common Type-C connector can do both source and sync depending on what is connected to it. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and please go to our website for more information or contact directly to our sales representatives. Thank you very much.